This week I'm beginning irrigation on one of the rental farms we manage. Three years ago, we asked the owners to consider a change from cutting hay to rotational grazing. Upon their approval, we spent an afternoon installing a semi-permanent electric fence around the perimeter, then used poly wire and step-in posts to move cow-calf pairs around the farm on a regular basis. Under a regenerative approach, this place has improved substantially from worn-out hay fields to lush, rich pasture land without added inputs. One of the contributing factors has been learning that it's okay to leave some grass behind. What I used to call wasted forage can be extremely beneficial. It incorporates one of the five principles of soil health. Soil armor, maintaining sufficient cover to protect the soil from sun, wind, and water runoff. It conserves moisture, increases photosynthesis, and protects insect and microbial life. We've seen production increase by not disturbing the soil and finding a much healthier alternative to using a plow. This encourages plant diversity as new species sprout from seed existing within the soil profile. By not cutting or grazing the soil bare, the forage is healthier, allowing plant roots to stay alive year-round. Integrating livestock is another key factor that adds fertility improves soil structure, and provides a harvest method that doesn't require fuel, equipment, or labor. This grazing project has proven to be healthier for the soil, the cows, and the cowboys. Another benefit has been increased profit for both parties. If you're looking for a change in your production model, consider methods that allow nature to heal and feed itself. You'll be amazed at how quickly soil health improves without artificial inputs. I'll see you next time on the Herd Quitter Minute.